A long time ago in Mathura, there was a king named Kans who was infamous for his greed and unfair rule. After the marriage of his sister, Devki to Vasudev, a prophetic voice from above announced, Kans, your tyranny is going to come to an end. The eighth son, born to Devki and Vasudev, will kill you. This enraged Kans and he imprisoned the newly vets. Kans went on to kill seven of Devki's children. When she gave birth to her eighth child, the prophetic voice returned and said, Take the child across the river Yamuna to Gokul and exchange him with your friends Nand and Yashoda's newly born daughter. Vasudev looked down. To realize his hands had been unchained, he quickly picked up his child and put him in a basket. Arriving at the gates to find them open on their own and the guards asleep. basket upon his head. The water never rose above his shoulders. When he struggled, a ten-headed snake appeared to protect the child from the pouring rain. Vasudev by now had realized that his child was a divine being. Hmm. At Nan's house, Vasati switched the children and returned to the prison. Hmm. child who is going to end your reign of terror has been born and will fulfill his prophecy. <laughs> the child Krishna was raised by Yashoda and went on oh. to kill Kans. And so, every year we celebrate the birth of Krishna, also known as Janmashtami across India. Mm -hmm.